Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRodAutomation.com and welcome to another video from our test trigger video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about SMS and phone call integration in test trigger. And this feature is going to be really, really awesome because we could able to test even the phone call of our applications or even the SMS integration within our application using test trigger without any effort. All right, so let's get started. So we have been talking about the test trigger suite so far and there are some cases that we might need to even test the phone call that is even being made within our application or we might also need to test if our application actually is receiving any phone call from the application that we are testing in or is it really sending a SMS and is the SMS is even being triggered from our application. If you really want to, to test this kind of services then it is really, really much easier in test trigger. And all these things are actually possible with the power of the Twilio integration. So you might have already heard about this Twilio before, which can actually help you to perform a lot of different operation. And one of them is actually integrating your phone number as well as performing voice call operations and methods and all those stuffs. So I have created a simple Twilio account over here. It's completely free. And you can see the trial version gives me like $14.32 or $15, I guess, uh, of money. And you can make phone calls and stuff. You can also get a phone number. So you can see that I have got a trial phone phone number here like plus one six five seven three zero something like that uh, and once you create this phone number you also get a account SID and also some of the tokens like auth tokens which is going to be coming for you automatically so all these things are going to be there for you once you create the account it's free and you can see that i have tried sending like uh so far i just sent like one sms and you can also see that we can check out what voice call it's been made and what are the messages that you can send and stuff so all these things will come up for you from here itself so you can see this is the complete dashboard of twilio again Twilio is very easy to sign up. There is no credit card required. You can just sign up. It's completely free. And once you have the Twilio account being created, you can then go to the settings of any of the test suite in Test Trigger. And in my case, I have the PB Tech test suite that we have been discussing in this series. And if I go to the settings over here, there is something called as integrations where I can actually specify the integration. So you can see that they have a lot of integration in test rigor, something like Jira integration. If you are maintaining Jira within your organizations and if you wanted to integrate the Jira of your application within your project, then you can also integrate that. You can also integrate with the Azure DevOps and you can also enable the test trial integration, hip test integration for the BDD and Specflow stuff and also Twilio, Zypher and JDBC database, something like that. And also for the pager duty to verify your observability of the application. So there are so many integrations available over here and this integration is gonna keep increasing based on the user requirements. But the one that we're gonna be discussing today is gonna be the Twilio integration, which helps you to perform the phone call testing as well as the SMS testing much, much easily. So as you can see over here, I have the account SID and this account SID is gonna be coming from the Twilio account over here, as you can see. This is the same thing which I have copy pasted. And I have also copy pasted the auth token so that it can communicate from test trigger over here. And once you get the auth token, you can also then uh, specify the phone number, which is gonna be this phone number that I have specified over here. That's it. So this is the only integration part that we need to do within the Twilio part. And once we have this integration in the test trigger, we can then test the phone number testing much, much easily with test trigger. I mean, it's very, very simple and I'm gonna show you the most simplest option of all times. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very easy to do it in test trigger. So all I'm gonna do is, let's say if I wanna perform some test operation on the test trigger. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna add a custom test and I'm gonna say, uh, test phone call, something like that. And then I'm gonna perform some test operation. So I need to sp once again specify uh, what I'm gonna perform. Let's say uh, I wanted to call my phone number using the given phone number, which is nothing but the, the phone number that I have got over here. So which is this one, right? So call like that. And I'm gonna say my phone number, which is New Zealand number. Uh, and then I'm gonna enter the US number that I just created in the Twilio account. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this number from the Twilio account and verify if uh, it's ringing, something like that. So verify it is ringing, something like this. 
So if you wanted to verify this simple test, you could do that as well. So if I just add and run the test, you will see that the test is starting to execute. And once the call comes in, you will see maybe in this screen, I will see that particular call coming in uh, in my iPhone. All right, actually I'm getting a call right now in my phone, which I couldn't able to show you on this screen because it is popping up on the different screen altogether. Oh yeah, here we go. I could able to drag and drop this one. So you can see that I'm getting a call right now at the moment. And if I go to the Twilio this time, and if I go to the uh, voice, and if I see the overview, so there we go. The It says the call has been answered on the iPhone. And if I go over here, you could see that the call just got made. I mean, this time uh, over here. So this is the, it's just showing me everything on the UTC time. So this is the current time of mine. So it's showing this over here and it is going to my number, which is cool. So this is how you could see that we could able to perform whether we could able to perform a simple phone call testing using the test rigor itself. And also the most important thing that you can see over here is that it is also verifying whether the ringing is actually happening within our phone uh, and it's testing that if it is working fine or not. So if you wanted to test if the phone call is even being attended, then you can also do that as well. For example, if you go to the test trigger site directly, you will see all the different examples that the team has given. So there is something called as phone call over here. And then you can see that they have different scenarios. It says that make call to this number and check if it was answered. So we can also test this if we wanted to. Similarly, if you wanted to test if the call was completed, then you can verify this. And similarly, if it is answered or it is picked up, you can verify that. So all these very, very edge case test cases, which we cannot actually do in any classical applications for automation is possible using test trigger with the help of the Twilio integration which is cool. And the next operation is going to be the SMS uh, message sending operation. So for example, if I want to verify if I could able to send an SMS to one of my phone number that I have got, I could also do that. So in order to test this, all you're going to do is you're going to say send message to my phone number with a text message. So we can just say text. Uh, this is from automation tool something like that and ch check it was delivered so you can also do that over here so if i just do an update and run you will see that this test is also going to run also it's going to verify if i am actually getting an sms or not and this is possible once again with the help of the twilio because in twilio you also have an option for messaging and you can see that the current rate that I have is like $14.32. So if there is an SMS being sent to my phone, then the trial amount is gonna be reduced, right? Because I'm actually using the credit given by the Twilio itself. So let's see if I am gonna be getting an SMS. There we go. You can see that the test has been completed successfully on the other side. And if I try refreshing the dashboard over here, and you can see that this time it has sent two SMS, one is on the 9th, which is today. It's uh, sent for us. Uh, I don't know, for some reason it is not showing on the dashboard. Also the trial price has not changed, which is weird. But actually there are two SMS being sent instead of one SMS that was sent before. Uh, and this is the one which is sent today for me. And which is cool. So you can see that the message has been created and it's also been sent. So yeah, that's it. It is working fine as well. So. I could able to see that the, even the SMS is being sent and it's also verifying if that particular text is being sent for that particular uh, for that particular SMS. And you can also see that it says that sent from your Twilio trial account, this is from an automation tool, something like that. So this is coming from the, this is from automation tool, which is nothing but, I guess this is our message. This is from our automation tool over here. So it is just showing that particular message for us as well, which is cool. So it is actually working fine without any problem. And this is how we could able to send an SMS and also make a phone call using test trigger, which is amazing.